Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video that was requested from my last uh, Euro Truck Simulator video. It was um, in the comments, I'll probably put it on the screen. Um, someone said that they wanted me to do a video on how to set up uh, the wheel. So the wheel that I've got is a Logitech G920. Um, they wanted me to do a video on how to set it up for um, <clears throat> Euro Truck Simulator 2. I do get a lot of questions on my driving videos on like, how you set how I set up the wheel and they've got problems with their wheels. A lot of them were on my city car driving video, but um, I got one on this, uh, my Euro Truck Simulator video. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this video and then I'm gonna be doing another Euro Truck Simulator video because someone else asked for me to do another video on it. So yeah. Um, so yeah, the uh, first thing that you wanna do is plug your wheel in. I'm actually gonna um, use my camera as well as recording my screen. Right, so you can see I've got um, my wheel set up here. Like you normally see my setups, see my pedals and all that down there. I've got it plugged into my computer from USB and I've got it powered up. Um, so it's all here, you should have the light on. Um, and obviously like, it'll be a bit stiff this and if you do it, it might do a little bit of a wobble, that's normal. It might be like stiffer than it is here. Um, it's different sometimes, um, but yeah, so uh, now let's go back to the computer. Right, so um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got this downloaded, the Logitech gaming software. Once we've got it plugged in, you can see it all comes up here. I don't actually know if this makes a difference, but you know, it's the Logitech software for um, any Logitech product. So yeah, you can see down here at the bottom, I've got my webcam, um, but if we're on the wheel, you can see we've got pedals and we can configure them to actually whatever we want. So we can like make the clutch pedal like something else, like a horn or whatever. Um, but you can see at the top we've got these profiles. So um, I'm on the Excel course one here at the minute. But if I go across, you can see Eurotrot Simulators there. But I usually just um, look for the default profile because that'll do it on any game. Um, for some reason it comes with like CSGO and Call of Duty. Uh, Gary's mod but um, I don't know it's a bit weird but it's going default profile and then um, like you can set it to whatever you want um, mine are just set to all the normal stuff um, <clears throat> so you see you get all these commands for anything you can have it on a number button or anything so yeah uh, if you go back to the home down here then you can go to the wheel. Uh, this way you can do like your force feedback. So if you click on a uh, steering wheel and a little arrow <clears throat> and go to axis properties, you can like change the like wheel operating range. You can do the sensitivity um, and all this stuff. And you can change what these buttons do as well. Um, but I usually just do that in the game. <clears throat> um, you got the gear stick. My, that's just sets up by itself so that's basically I don't know why you need this but uh, it might be recommended to have it so if you don't then just download it it might help so uh, now let's go on to the game uh, usually I don't have my game in um, not this screen or else I would be able to record it um, that's why I use my GoPro to record my videos oh got the wrong one there we go um, Anyway, that didn't make sense. So if I go on to Euro Truck Simulator and go to controls, actually let's first go to, um, I don't think anything is in gameplay to do with it. Don't know you could do all that there. Um, let's go to keyboard and buttons. So you can see, um, this way you can set all your like keys all the buttons I'm trying to talk but I can't um, so throttle it already sets all that for you in the next bit which we'll go on to in a sec but you can set all your things you just um, like you see start and stop you just click on it and then press whichever button I have that, I have that on B on my wheel um, so that's pretty like <clears throat> self explanatory really um, you can still keep like the settings like shift for shift up or like all that stuff you can still like E for starting and stop so you can basically do like, two buttons for one thing um, so yeah you just click on it and then press whichever button you want it on um, 
But um, if you go to controls, we can see right at the top here, you want to make sure that you've got it on keyboard plus Logitech G920 driving force racing wheel USB. <laughs> Bit of a long name, but um, so make sure you've got it on that. Um, once you've got it on that, because sometimes I think it sets it to keyboard only or keyboard and mouse steering. So once you go on that, it should probably set everything. Um, now you can go through this and because like you can have a gamepad or a joystick, so you can change it up. Um, you can change your transmission. I usually just have it in H manual, like you see in my other videos. Um, you change other settings, force feedback settings. I have mine like all the way down because otherwise it'll be really really stiff. I found so. Um, there's the thing, if um, if I actually go into a game it'll probably get um, really stiff. So you can see I'm in a game here, um, and if I, I'm actually in the middle of a job, I don't know, I think I'm in the middle of like a really long job, but um, you can see it, it's, it doesn't really seem stiff, but you can see it's still doing that bouncing thing like it was doing before, which it shouldn't do. Um, so if you get that problem, just go to your settings, um, go to options. And I'm, I'm going to go back to the computer for this, but um, then you go to your controls and then here just on gain, if you just turn that off and then turn it back down, we can see if I go back onto the wheel, it's fixed itself, There's, it won't jump around and it'll be like smoother, because um, the gain is actually what controls how stiff it'll be. If I actually went into the game, then you'd see it'd be really stiff. But you can see now we're in game here, and uh, I turn it, and it's perfectly working fine. So, um, yeah, let's go back to the other settings. All right, so see, uh, done fast feedback steering. This is where you can, um, like, set your it should already come up with joy wheel axis. If not, then you click on it and just turn the wheel. And then it'll just automatically like put it in. Um, you can see my settings. I have the dead zone all the way down. Um, make sure it's on centered, um, not inverted and centered, because it might be a bit. I don't actually know what that does. Inverted and centered. Oh, you turn it to the left and it turns it to the right. So it is just inverted. So you just want to make sure it's on centered, because then you turn it all the way to the left and it goes left, all the way to the right, it goes right. Um, acceleration. It should already put it in, if not, and then you just click on it and then press the accelerate pedal. I'm just gonna record this with my camera so you can see. So if we do it again, you can see if I click on uh, the, if I, I can't even focus on the camera, Joy Accelerator, if I click on it, you can see it comes up with um, press the button or move stick or whatever. You can see if I uh, just press this down, what? So press it down and you can see it does it. And if I press it down, as you can hear, it's coming up there. Basically, you do that for all the rest of them. So, brake, click on it, press the brake. Clutch, click on it, press the clutch. You can have them opposite way around if you want. You can have them however you want. Um, but you can see I've got my dead zones up for um, a bit for them. Just um, makes them less sensitive. Um, but it's all like preference. But um, you see the wheel, you want it on centered, not inverted, but on the accelerator, you want it on inverted, because if you have it on centered, you press it down and it does that. So when you press it down, it gets rid of it. So you just be accelerating all the time, basically. Inverted and centered. Don't actually know what that does, but you could have it on inverted and centered if you wanted. I just usually, oh, normal. Normal is just the exact same as centered, but. I just have it on inverted because I think it's slower than. I don't know. There's, I don't can't really see a difference. I think there is a difference in, a difference in game, but see inverted, uh, just inverted, brake the exact same, just inverted, and clutch you want that inverted as well. Um, on city car driving, actually, it's the other way around, but um, yeah, you want it on that and clutch range. You just want it on all the way up, or else just putting it down like literally that's about halfway down, and you can see it's like that. And then 
I've not even got it full all the way down and it's there so you want to make sure you got it on the the full range then you have to put it the clutch all the way down to get it right to the end um, don't do anything on them your shifter this is where you can um, set which part of the shifter um, does what so the shifter you click on it put it into first or whatever gear you're going on and put it back into neutral so it's up and then back if it'll do it there we go it's a bit weird and then second and back there it's working now third that was fourth <laughs> i don't know why i did that third fourth fifth sixth then you got reverse up there um automatic drive and reverse uh i don't use automatic so i don't know what they're actually set to the set to first gear and reverse so yeah um and we just got down to the bottom and that's it where you can reset